All right, guys. So today we are most definitely going to be tackling a lot of main missions. I know over the last couple of episodes, it's just been side quests and stuff like that. And I've been saying every other episode that we're going to tackle the main missions. But today we have to. It is a must priority. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And most importantly, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption Two. Now, I know it's going to look like I'm totally contradicting myself, but before we do anything, there is one character that I just want to see if this is, in fact, the last and final Saint Denis mission. And it's a character that we've been following very closely. I promise you, this is going to be the only side mission for today. It's a character that we've been following very closely. It's that really funny French painter. I think he was French. Um, who's like a total... He loves women <laughs> and he's like he's almost been killed multiple times for sleeping with other men's women and painting them at the gallery and stuff like that so it's been it's been pretty hilarious and uh my friend in fact is actually right around the corner i came to saint denis to start this episode obviously because we were in literally buttfuck egypt and we were really far. Oh, hi. Psst, what? Who said that? Oh. <laughs> oh my. Okay. What are you dressed up like that? <laughs> oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. Go far away. We will never understand you here. I say I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port and I need a chaperone. That's funny. Okay, come on. Oh. That is funny as shit. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization. So oppressive. So stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. Bro, he's so little. Look at him. He looks like a legit woman with that size. I mean, It's a tiny dude. <laughs> keep up, keep up. We go, we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we are away. Come now, follow me. So those are the men over there. Yeah, they turned away. You, you shat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come <laughs> on. My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in Bro, there. what a guy. Allow me to avoid that place. <laughs> what a character, dude. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. All right, we don't want any problems. Oh, it's nothing. Uh, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Okay, moving. Come on. Okay, I just want to say I can't say anything, but if you know, you know that man just kissed no, Arthur. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of gradients. Not so much. The new kinds of deviants? This is a the holy offense. We go there. This has been a crazy, crazy character. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere <laughs> you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this way to the end of the docks. 
I mean, you can clearly see his hairy ass chest. After all, what are you looking at? You sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during what? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Well, it's good to know you got. Look at you, pretty little thing. <laughs> Hello, boys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's fucking hilarious. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. There's so much like detail and everything here, man. Like, fuck. Crazy. We made it. Let's go. Oh no 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 no! Oh no, no, no. what the fuck? Oh, my God. Uh, he's out here. What? Hey, hold on. I got a knife too, bitch. I got a fucking knife too. I will cut your ass. Come on, boy. These guys got me by surprise. I had to stab you in the heart, you heartless son of a bitch. I'm gonna pick up my dad. Oh no, not this hat. <laughs> my daddy's hat. ship's leaving soon. Merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Yo, that's wild, man. This dude, what a character. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. <laughs> ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. What a, what a character, man. Holy cow. Low-level crimes will be investigated by lawmen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. I shouldn't have knifed them. That's probably what messed everything up. If I would have just fought them with my fists. That dude had a knife on him, bro. What the hell? All right. So I think we're going to be good to get out of here. And the horse is so freaking beautiful. A white and white and brown. This one right here. Caramel and brown. Freaking gorgeous ass horse. Alright, so we're gonna get up on our horse and we're gonna go to. Okay. We're gonna go to where we gotta go. Wait, what? Alright, hold up. Let me pay. Let me let me pay my bounty. I think I've got a bounty. Let me just make sure. And I've got some own open to parts. Well, hello again. Well, hello again, Baco. Liberty is worth every penny. Okay. Recent mail. Received mail. Invitation from Mayor Lim Oh. Is that so? May 1899, Mosur. Mo Mos I don't know how to say that word. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. Meet so many people at these kinds of functions. It is hard to keep track. I did not notice, or I did notice, however, that you were near my study where 
when poor Pierre had an accident. Some documents simply disappeared. Now, I haven't spent far too long in politics to make accusations wildly. But just long enough to know when I am you and me, owed a small favor. You find a station, you'll find a lot of trouble. You get a lot of visitors coming in and out of this place, you know. Perhaps your gun ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge in a meeting at least. Come to the back of Manjoro residence any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant Jean Mark will open it for you. I hope to see you soon, your newest friend. Oh, we have another side Thanks, character there on on deck ready to go but we are not going to do Come side on. characters we are going straight to our camp as promised straight to our camp that's exactly where we're going good morning Arthur. no hello there guys good morning all right <laughs> Why is this bat always sleeping on the ground? Happy drunk. Happiness is important, Arthur. <laughs> what a fucking guy, dude. Alright, we're gonna change clothes real quick, okay? Just really quickly. Perfect. Alright. Excellent. Let me gather some supplies. Any supplies we can gather today? Yep, right up here. Yes, sir. All right, let's go back downstairs. Gotta go speak to Sadie Adler. Also, some of the weapons that I've... I can't pull up any weapons here. I forgot about that. <laughs> this man's always drinking, man. Shit. All right, Sadie. How you doing, Mrs. Edler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, <laughs> Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. Bro. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Their own fucking guy, huh? Oh, he used to be up. Used to be. Insane, dude. Look at freaking little Jack. Head down there. John Marsh is covering him. Don't worry, little Jack. We've got this. We get some items from Deadeye. Open the cigar. Oh 
Come on, damn Driscoll. Driscoll. Hold in Get here. Upstairs. Stay away from the window. You tell Mr. Pearson. Come on, quick! Oh, this is fucking wild. Hold here, hold here! Any more casualties? Let's clear it! At the moment, let's try and keep it. Woo! Well, let's go, you sons of bitches! Hold on, let me actually take this and then. Bro, they're crazy, man. Look at them. You don't fuck with Arthur Morgan, asshole. That man had a nice little fancy ring on him. Yeah, that's right. What's the name is going on? We're overrun. Just keep shooting. Pull back. Pull back. Retreat back to the mansion. Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Bro, what the fuck? You cornered now, you no good bastards! Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said it's everyone accounted for! I mean, in reality, we are no good bastards for real. <laughs> That's Mr. Sandler. She's still out there. She's gonna go ham. Okay. Oh, she's gonna go ham. What did they say? One other horse? Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming. Sadie? Get <laughs> you don't need to go inside, Is man. This all this? Come on, Arthur. <laughs> She's crazy as we go back. We need you in the house, Mrs. Adler. She's trying to prove oh, herself no, today. Don't. Look at these guns, how cool they look, huh? They look super cool. Oh, yeah, Sandy, I'm gonna knock your brains out if you stay there, sweetheart. Bro, damn, this new freaking revolver I got, or pistol I got, is insanely good. Ow, ow. Yo, look at 
Look at Charles, bro. Oh man, okay? that's it. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy wow. and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. He saved my life and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. <laughs> That's what love has done to her, I guess. What a mission. What a damn mission. So now we've got, um, let's take a look at the map here. We still got, uh, Leopold Strauss. I fear I fear that if we leave this camp, we're not gonna be able to do that mission. I don't know if that's the case. Probably not, to be honest. But here we go. We've got this mission here with Dutch Vandalin. And then we also got um this mission here with uh Eagle Flies, which I think we should also do. I think we should. I think we definitely, definitely should. Let's go ahead and do Leopold Strauss. Let, let me just finish this guy off. And then we're going to go off and do Dutch. I just, I'm kind of scared that we might miss this. Sorry. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Hmm. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. It, okay. Look at those beautiful horses. Yeah. Beautiful horses. There we go. What? Okay. <laughs> well, Alright, they just disappeared. Interesting. Gentlemen. Hi there, mister. Oh, look at that. How the, how'd that boat get up there? That's kind of crazy. Hey, you guys good? Listen, fool. Stay the hell away. Hey. You ain't got you don't no like visitors, huh? Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. Clear out! Get going, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's just keep going. I don't know, I think that guy's a serial killer. I don't want to mess with him. So am I, but, you know. 
Well, I'm not really a serial killer, but you yeah, know. I do my thing <laughs> from time to time. Yeah. I do tend to do my thing. It's such a beautiful scenery here. I don't even know if I'll probably edit this out. I just wanna Hey, hey. Most likely leave it. Go on, girl. Go on, girl. Alright. I'm here to collect debt. Pay up, bitch. Oh god. Alright, door's locked. How about this? Ooh. Oh, we've got some cigarettes. Premium cigarettes. Oh, we've got some cigar. That's gonna come in handy. Anything else? Oh, he's gotta be down here. There he is. Is that him? Oh no, that's a tree. Hey, where is this fool? Maybe to the back of the house? He's in there, the chimney's on. this guy a chest oh my god is that coins like gold and shit chewing tobacco coin sack oh my god 13 bucks. Right, I'm trying to see if this guy's gonna come out or not. Oh, hold on. Oh! Oh my god, he's right there! good reason for being on my property mister you remember that loan you took mr. Davison well time's long since up I'm here to collect oh, I should have known you goddamn bludgeon men are all the same sure I'm sure I got your money every stinking cent is in the house hell I'll even offer you a drink we can toast to never laying eyes on each other again Hmm. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. <laughs> uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that death. Well, this is as fast as I can go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Paul? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I look down here for our savings. Oh. Savings? <laughs> Under the sink? Best place for. Them. He's got a knife right there. Mm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. I don't like this. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. He's gonna try and knife me. Ah! I knew it. What a cut your damn head! Clean off! Bro. Waste of my time. Can you believe that shit? Wow. <laughs> wow. 
What about his son? Where'd his son go? What a piece of shit. Man, this poor son. I don't know if his son's into it. Or in it, better yet. But I feel bad for him. Ooh. Oh! Double barreled shotgun. I was just gonna buy that earlier. Maintain that bad boy up. <laughs> Fix that shit up, baby. Make it look like new. Thanks for the double barreled asshole. Fuck yeah. Excellent. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Very nice, dude. You know what? I'm actually pretty content with this double barreled right now. <laughs> you don't really tend to uh, realize how many, like, weapons you have in this game. But, like, we have a lot of weapons. A good amount of weapons. Alright, room number one. Don't hurt me, alright? Aw. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that. Oh, there's two right here. That must suck though, as that kid seeing your dad get his ass beat like that. All right, kid, you can come out, man. Come on, don't do that. Miracle tonic. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I can't. I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky? Wow. I don't want to take his money, man. Come on. I don't want to take his money. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Man, that sucks, dude. It's so sad. Scumbag piece of shit father. Alright, let's just loot this area up. See if we find anything here. Yeah, it's disgusting. Look at the difference between his room and, and his dad's room. Holy crap. A letter here. Dearest Nate. Letter to Nate from Mama. I don't know how many letters I've written now, but I won't stop trying. Even the act of writing feels like some connection to you. Which is certainly better than none. I can understand how hurt and angry you must be for walking out on you like that. Um, but I promise that I love you with all my heart. I just couldn't take I couldn't take it a day longer. You know your father's temper, especially when he was drinking. Which was all the time at the end. I found work and I'm renting a small house. Just give me the word and I'll send for you. We can both start again. Love always mama. Damn. Piece of shit, Dad. I love how in these side missions, it's not just about sometimes it is, but like you've got his son, and then you've got a letter to his son. Like it's a lot of like depth to like these side characters, you know? Like fuck, <laughs> my boy's tombstone. 
Oh my god, you piece of shit. Alright, well, hopefully. You won't find nothing else here. Please just leave. Alright, fine. You know what, asshole? Your mom says to call her. Alright, peace. Alright, guys. Here we go. Where's Dutch? Down the alleyway. Ooh, there we go. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched <laughs> paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Tahitians? <laughs> we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you <laughs> noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. And you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Okay. Don't make us Give me kill everything you. you got. This sure Quick. Am. Okay. Leave these Take fine folks. folks of their valuables. Man. Check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Shit, no. I don't want to rob people, bro. I feel like I have to. All your money now. Quick. Okay. I said, open the yours. gate. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Come on. These folks must have some money. What if I don't rob her? What if I go with Lenny? Get their money. Let's hurry this up. I feel like I do have to, honestly, unfortunately. Twice. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Oh boy. Mr. M, check the safe. <laughs> Mr. M. Sure. Mr. M. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. Dude, this is crazy, man. Robbing like in broad daylight in the middle of the entire There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash Look in at there. This dude. He told us there was. <laughs> Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! Wow. Follow me, gentlemen. This is nuts. Go now. Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. This is trolley. Bro, that trolley's so slow. Alright, shoot us some space, boys. We got more on the right. Shit. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. Bro, that's this guy's handgun. That's the handgun from this guy. It's just OP. Oh, of course, it's my 
malfunctioning. Shit. The thing's broke. Hold on! actually bought How about the one that this guy gave us <laughs> very nice so nothing moves that's a good uh a good tip tips and tricks Featuring Arthur Morgan. Our chance to move. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're out. We're out of here. I do. Oh, I don't have my sawed-off shotgun. I was about to say, or excuse me, my double double-barreled shotgun. Lost your entire fucking face. We need to wake up. We'll wake up and we'll get the hell out of here. On up. On the balcony. Ooh. Ah, go down. All right. Oh, this is friggin' nice, man. <laughs> Good honor that I had for this shit. Watch out! How you doing there, boss? I'm okay. Not my chance. Let's go. Oh man, first person on PC is really Keep fun. That wagon intact, okay? We might need it. Ah! Head for that wagon. Turned around. <laughs> 
I was turned around. You see any more? Oh shit, that's that's I don't know if I hit it. I don't think I hit it. Just get us out of here. I was looking the other way uh, other way around. I don't have enough time. This looks so nice. That's just heavy, man. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Wow. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? <laughs> I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you hmm. did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it oh, could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Absolute bullshit. Alright, so if we look at the map now. Yeah, that was that was horrible for 15 bucks. That was horrible. And we're wanted. So there's that. Ooh, look at those horses. Oh, that's them right there. Ooh, nasty. Eagle flies? You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Nobody's gonna look in the back that is completely empty. <laughs> train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. We're all crazy. He didn't even see me. What a dork.
start loading up. Sneak into the factory. Me through here. My goodness. That was a close car. Oh. It's just fucking nerve wracking, dude. I'm gonna knock this fool out. Stealth kill his ass. Ah, I should have done that. Damn it. Oh, well. important a file I'm from head office you're not from head office does that seem important right now no no I need a file by the Leland oil development company the one about the oil near Wapiti oh, look at that fucking I Danbury, think <laughs> a mind is a terrible thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here, it's here. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. Yo. <laughs> hey, 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 hold it right there. Of course. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. You're dead. Let's go, bitch. Oh my 
my goodness. to watch some of that oil burn so you met mr danbury yes don't worry he was very obliging i thought you wasn't getting involved thought you were gonna enter and leave silently thank you you saved my life thank you i hope well i don't know what i hope but who knows Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. More money than we got at the freaking shitty robbery. Oh, man. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Yep. Well, that was fun. I do say so myself. Do we have any other missions available? And we'll probably do Dutch Vanderlyn. Oh, yes, we do. Shady Bell. Where the hell is that? Is that, is that our camp? It is, right? Oh, God, we're so far away. God, we're so far away. All right, guys, another day, another story regression for our beloved cowboy, Arthur Morgan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Truly, truly fun. It's like this game just doesn't get old. But um, if you guys want to see more ASAP, just drop the video a like. The better they do, the more I can drop for you guys. And uh, thank you again, as always. Hope to catch you on the next one.